Welcome. Okay, so we have a couple of weeks before the final exam. Remember how we talked about the final exam and things like that um, on the interim. And although your interim score was not bad, we need to do better for the final exam because you need to prove how intelligent you are and how much you actually really do know of the material. So we're going to spend a lot of time reviewing for the final exam. And plus, it's a big portion of your grade. It's 10% of your overall grade. So we, we want to do well on that. So we're beginning with our final exam review today, um, which I think is going to be Wednesday night for you. So this is going to be the first of a couple of videos for you. Um, so the first video, we're going to go back to equations. So back to unit one stuff. So unit one, a um, couple of things we'll do here. We'll do a lot more in class, but just to get your mind back into the flow of solving an equation. So for number one, I'm going to solve for x. So the first thing I need to do is, there's a negative 6 here. i got to get rid of it. So I'm going to do the opposite. So I'm going to add 6 to both sides. When I get down, I'm going to cross this out. I'm bringing down my 3x. This was gone. And 12 plus 6 is going to be 18. Wow, that was crazy how that happened. Uh, now 3x equals 18. Um, you might want to rewind that and slow-mo that, how that happened. I don't know. Divide by 3 on both sides. And my answer is going to be x equals 6. Okay. Um, over here. Same process, but I'm going to subtract 7 instead of the other way. Drop down 7x is going to equal 35. And I'm going to whoop, do my thing. Uh, divide by 7 on both sides. And my answer is going to be x equals 5. Okay, so two pretty simple ones, right? Um, now, the problems that we need to do a little bit better on are ones with fractions. Fractions aren't all that bad. It just means you might have a fraction answer, right? Because that's going to be a little bit weird, but that's okay. Um, so let's work on one or two, and I have absolutely no idea how they're going to work out. So number three, let's go with um, one half times the quantity x plus four equals 20. Okay. So I have to distribute the one half to everything inside. So one half times x is just simply one half x, and one half times four, remember when we multiply fractions with regular integers, we only multiply the numerator times the numerator because this is really four over one. Right? So this is just going to be 4 over 2, or plus 4 over 2. Um, but 4 over 2 is just simply 2 if I were to uh, simplify. Okay? So this is 1 half x plus 2 equals 20. Uh, I'm still going to solve the same way as I solved the first equation, with minus 2 on both sides. And I'm left with 1 half x equals 18. So um, the way we t talked about this before is, when I want to get rid of a fraction and a variable, because they're next to each other, which means they're being multiplied together, I have to divide. But the problem is I can't divide fractions, because no one's ever done that in the history of the world. It's not possible. We need to multiply both sides by the reciprocal. Okay? So the reciprocal of 1 half, reciprocal just means the fraction is going to get flipped over. So 2 over 1. So I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 2 over 1. Okay? This cancels everything out here. That's why we do that. Okay? Because 2 times 1 is 2, and 1 times 2 is 2 and 2 over 2 is just 1. So now I'm left with simply x here, and 18 times 2 over 1, or 18 like this, this is going to be x equals 36 over 1, or just 36. That's my final answer, x equals 36. Okay? That's not too bad. Uh, let's go with one more, and if you had a struggle with that, rewind me to see what I did. Remember, I do these things, I model these for you, so you can do exactly the same thing I do, um, because that's <laughs> the awesomest way to solve it ever, because um, I'm great. Yeah, I said it. I am. Number four. Uh, let's go two over five times. Um, hmm, Ten minus x. Uh, that's like a plus. Equals, uh, I don't know, five. <laughs> okay. Um, distribute everything on the inside. So 2 times 10 is 20, so it's 20 over 5, we'll come back to that in a second, plus 2 fifths, what are you doing buddy, go away, go away, make a video, 2 over 5, that's my dog by the way, he's down, just hanging out over there, uh, 2 over 5 times x is 2 fifths x equals 5, okay, this is 4, I can simplify 20 over 5 to 4 because that's a division problem, now I've got something a little bit easier to manage, so Got to get this term by itself, so I'm going to subtract 4, because that's a plus 4 on both sides. And I'm left with 2 over 5x equals 1. Okay. Um, remember, this together means multiplication, so I'm going to divide or multiply by the reciprocal on both sides. The reciprocal of 2 fifths is 5 over 2, or 5 seconds, or 5 halves. Okay. 
this cancels everything out. X is going to equal 1 times 5 over 2, or just simply 5 over 2. That's my answer. Bam! I'm awesome. Okay, excuse me. I want to get my cap. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, we're done. So you have some problems on the fee reform. You have fee reform's awesomeness. Uh, I'm not going to give you the answer to them because, uh, frankly, you need to know them and we're going to do them in class. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye.